and their legal battle over a French winery they once shared, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are not giving up. The actor refers to Jolie's sale of her stake in Chateau Miraville in 2021 as vindictive in new court documents filed on Thursday by Pitt's attorneys and obtained by CNN. The documents were filed in response to adverse custody ruling. According to the documents, her decision to halt talks with Pitt was intentional and pretextual. Jolie's actions were illegal, intentionally harming Pitt and unfairly enriching herself, as will be shown at trial. Jolie's lawyer, Paul Murphy, responded in a statement to CNN on Friday afternoon, bringing up claims that Pitt had abused her on a flight in 2016 that were included in a court document Jolie filed in the case in October. He personally has never publicly denied that it took place, even now, seven years after that tragic plane ride. The truth is that Jolie insisted on being kept silent about the abuse before Pitt agreed to complete the Miraville sale with her, Murphy said on Friday. In a statement to CNN in October, a Pitt representative disputed information in the filing. The representative said, Brad has accepted responsibility for what he did, but will not for things he didn't do. Following the FBI's investigation, Pitt was not detained or charged in relation to the incident. The FBI has reviewed the circumstances and decided not to pursue further investigation, in response to allegations made following a flight that landed in Los Angeles, carrying Mr. Brad Pitt and his children and that was within the special aircraft jurisdiction of the United States. At the time, FBI spokeswoman Laura I. Miller told CNN that no charges had been brought in this case. In 2016, Jolie filed for divorce from Pitt. Despite the fact that they were legally declared single in 2019, a shared custody agreement for their minor children has not yet been decided. In October 2021, Jolie sold her shares in Miraville to Tenu Del Mondo, a division of the Stoli Group, which is owned by Russian oligarch Yuri Schieffler. Pitt initially brought a claim against the seller in 2022, calling the sale illegal because, in his words, they had agreed when they bought Chateau Miraville that neither would sell without the other's permission. Jolie filed a countersuit, asserting that there was never any such agreement, and that she sold her stake in the winery to achieve financial independence from Pitt, and to have some form of peace and closure, to this deeply painful and traumatic chapter of her and their children's lives. In 2008, the ex-couple bought the rural estate and winery in the south of France.